Today we are gonna do the semi shuffle and get that new truck that I bought yesterday into the shop. Uh, I got some errands to run this morning. Actually glad I said that. Get a check in my office I've got to grab. Got some errands to run this morning and uh, get some parts and hopefully get some things ready to go. Got a new office chair and uh, 10 out of 10, it's awesome. Mom and Dad got that for me for Christmas and that was long overdue, so really glad to have that. There's starting to be a theme around here. We got a white Chevy pickup, a white GMC, two white Fords, a white Volvo Semi, a white International Semi. We like white trucks around here, mainly because we don't like washing things and at least stay way cleaner there. And they look like they're way cleaner. But uh, we got new shiny quarter fenders on. We've got uh, a new mirror on that side. We've got chrome um, hub covers, wheel hub covers, trucks polished. Got new seat covers on both seats. Insides, well it was cleaned up till I got in here just now. We changed a hydrant that froze and busted this morning, so I'm good and dirty now, but we're swapping this truck. It's going in cold storage. And I'm gonna pull the new truck into the shop and uh, we're gonna start going through it and looking it over real good, so. One more white truck on the farm. If that truck does get totaled out, one thing we're gonna do is take the tires on that that actually have some grip and swap them out with these because these, they're worthless in a field. They're the straight tread. I mean, on a highway, they're fine, I'm sure, but they're worthless in a field, so. Let's see if this thing will do a cold start. Maybe. Got the radio. Well, that fired up just fine. That was actually a little bit boring compared to what I thought it might be. Do we have air pressure left from yesterday? We do not. Maybe a little bit. So that's promising. It's still at about 20 PSI, so that's good. Oh well. She's nothing fancy, um, but she'll do for a farm truck. I. I don't know, the really decked out Peterbilts and Kenworths, I love to look at them, I do, and they are really cool, but at the end of the day, uh, their grain doesn't get sold at the elevator for any more than mine, and as long as my farm trucks get it there, so be it. Um, I don't know, that's my thoughts on it, right or wrong, but uh, as long as they're reliable trucks and we keep them upright, and the trailers don't have holes in them and DOT doesn't hammer us on them, then we're fine. Morning. We're, well, I'm on fire, but uh, getting rid of some trash this morning. It is sloppy. All of our five degree weather, or negative five degree weather, I should say, is gone and uh, now it's gonna get up to 60 degrees and rain like every day. So yeah, it's it's nice out. The snow's all melted, or the majority of it has. And uh, it's just slime and slop now. Maybe that'll dry it out. Like, I'd like to keep my skid steer clean, but yeah, that's about impossible right now. Um, you, you just don't keep tracks like that clean. And I graded the driveway against my better judgment today. And yes, it's, it's, it's a mess now, but all my rock was getting packed in. And so I figured while it was really soft, I'd try and loosen it up. And I definitely did, but it's all really muddy now. So we're supposed to get like three inches of rain tomorrow. So hopefully that'll kind of rinse the rock out. And it's super windy today, so it should dry out. 
I might do it again, try and knock some of the dirt out of it. And then uh, maybe the rain will rinse it out. I don't know, that was probably the wrong thing to do. I, but uh, I was like halfway committed to doing it and at that point, you know, I was just gonna send it. Truck's all polished up, new fenders, tanks are polished, looking good. Not bad, not bad. There is about a 90% chance we're gonna get hung up hooking onto this trailer. It's soupy out here, but oh well. It ain't gonna get any drier. There's rain in the forecast about every day. Here goes another. Just give her. Got the fifth wheel greased, so she'll slide right in and uh, nope. Too much. He needs to slam into it. Well, big shocker. But the semi got stuck. And it's not because the semi's got crappy little highway tires on it, but it's because the trailer brakes are completely locked up. So I did the patient thing to do, and we hooked the skid steer to it, drug it down the driveway up to the shop because it's windy and it's cold. And I don't want to mess with it outside. So we're going to drag it into the shop with a skid steer, shut the door, and work on it in the heat because well, we've got a heated shop, so there's no reason not to. Had to shuffle the Steiger back here because there's not room to get the semi trailer in right now. And the end of the day, I guess there's a little bit of a house update. Got concrete poured today. And it's already hard. It's already set up. Foundation's poured. Concrete's poured. Lumber's coming tomorrow. Framing starts Monday. Today's Friday. Or yeah, today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. So, got this poured. These are insulated walls. So, it's styrofoam and then concrete, and then more styrofoam, and plastic on the outside. So, making a little progress, little by little. Looking forward to the framework going up. Maybe it'll start looking like a house then. And we've got lumber showing up. That's good. Maybe we're actually gonna get a house built now. They packed the shed full. Two befores, two befores. I don't know. Hopefully something will start happening next week. So the low side of this gearbox has gone out. It turns freely, but it doesn't grab. Um, so I got to looking at this, and I'm going to have to cut the shaft off of the yoke down there and drive it out. And then I'm going to have to cut this bracket off and re-weld it because the new gearbox didn't come with the bracket. So I think what I'm going to try and do instead, rather than taking all that apart, is just pop the cover off of this gearbox, pop the cover off that gearbox, rob any parts out of that one that I need for this one, and put it back together. I don't really want to do that, but I think that's going to be the easiest way to do this. So that's what we're doing. So I bought a new gearbox, that right there, and uh, it was such a pain in the ass to put a new one on that I ended up just tearing the old one apart and rebuilding it. But I couldn't get the pins drove out of these to take the cover off. So I ended up cutting the pipe so I could pull the shaft straight through it. Pulled it apart. There was a roll pin that had broke off in there. So I welded it solid, filled it back up with grease, slid a pipe over it, tack welded it. It's not pretty, but it'll work. So that's fixed again. So. Truck's shined up, truck's ready to go. Uh, the trailer, the only thing we need is a few of these lights, which we haven't pulled off right now. A uh, local place in town didn't have them today, so I ordered them. So as soon as those come in, that rig will be ready to roll. Not too bad looking. I'd like to have aluminum wheels on the trailer too, but it is very long. Um, it's like a train compared to the Volvo and the shorter hopper bottom, but 
Oh well, we got a grain train and a short one for tight fields, I guess. So it'll work. Stagger got washed today too. It's nice and shiny. Got some new bearings in the trap doors. They spin way easier now. And uh, got a new radio in here, which is cool. Um, it's nice, it's got Apple CarPlay and everything, so that's nice. And uh, well, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook onto an auger and go load some beans up. I'm gonna try and get both semis loaded tonight and then we're gonna run down to Owensboro in the morning, so. Hopefully it works out. Loading for tomorrow. Very, very slowly, but we're getting there. Morning. It's, uh, it's sloppy this morning. Mud. Just mud everywhere. It's 60 degrees, which is nice in January, but uh, we got an inch and nah, we got several inches of rain last night, actually. And everything's just slop. <laughs> That's never fun when you're trying to haul grain, but we are. The worst news is I'm pretty sure that the uh, transmission on the Volvo just took a dump last night, so. So much for polishing it and putting shiny new wheels, a radio, brakes, just did all kinds of stuff to it. And uh, yeah, ninth and 10th gear just decided they don't want to work anymore. So that's fun. I swear if I could farm without semis, I would, uh, especially lately. It's just sucked. They flat out sucked to own lately. Uh, between that one going upside down, been putting brakes on a bunch of them. This one has a hellacious oil leak. It's just, I gotta own four of them to keep two of them on the road, it seems like. But I'm not having any luck finding a cab for that one. I wanna find a cab and get on it, and get the thing fixed, but I can't find a cab, so. I don't know. We'll see. And this truck's dead. So, yeah, 2023 is off to a great start. A flipped over truck, a truck with no transmission, a truck that's dead, and a new truck that we know nothing about. So, fingers crossed it's a good one. It was a cheap one, so I really hope we got lucky and it's a good one too. I, I hope. 